YouTube friends, welcome to my channel. Today I will be doing a tarot reading for the sign of Leo for the month of April 2020. I've meditated on the cards and I've asked the angels and the universe to give me messages for you for April 2020. I have four cards representing each week of April. Week number one, number two, number three, and number four. Okay, let's get started. First week, the first week of April, we have the death card in reverse. So for all you Leos, the message in the first week of April is there's a transition period that you're going through in your life that you have to adapt and you're holding on to the old. But you have to embrace the new. Anything that has uh, things, th this is a normal cycle. It's a normal um, cycle that is closing. And you have to adapt to this new situation. You have to let go of the old, uh, adapt to the new. The transition is for your good, for your benefit. Sometimes it's difficult for us when, you, when we're used to a routine. Uh, we're used to some... Um, some old habits it's difficult to let go it's difficult to adapt but the card the first the message for the first week of of april is to just let go accept that this is just a chapter the, the previous chapter is closed now you are uh, entering a new chapter and this transition is going to be for for the best and right next to it beautiful card uh right next to the transition adapting to the transition the great news that is coming is the wheel of fortune great card so if you're looking into um i don't know maybe buying a lottery ticket during this time that's gonna chances are uh, leos are gonna be are gonna be very uh very lucky during this time the wheel of fortune is a change of events so this transition that has started in the first week of uh, of April, it's going to continue with with a change, with a positive change in the second week of April. So you you will be uh, this. There's a very positive change. There's a karmic reward uh, for all of you that have been uh, helpful to other people, done good deeds. You will rip the the fruits of your of your hard work you will be repaid you will get that good karma from all the good things that you've been doing and helping people and helping others and helping yourself working hard everything this during this second week of april is going to be the start the the up the 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 upstart of a great cycle for you um which which gonna bring you abundance luck uh, in all areas. So it's it's great. Uh, it's great for for all of you that have been going through rough times. This is a very positive car. That change is coming soon, and there is a very positive change. Also, in the third week of April, we have the Moon card. Which calls us to pay attention to our intuition, pay attention to our deeper thoughts. Um, we have a lot of answers inside of us. Pay attention to um, synchronicity. If you see the same number over and over again, or um, so one 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 or two 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 or three 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 pay, pay attention to your dreams they have a uh, specific significance during this week they can give you great messages and great insights of the future and also about yourself and getting to know yourself better uh so if, if, if during this third week of april you have any dreams write things down if you're um looking at the same number all over the place or if you're if an animal randomly uh, comes to you those are all messages from the universe and it's going to help you discover something more about yourself it's also the time when it calls for us to uh, meditate spend time by ourselves listen to our inner voice uh, and great things are going to be coming our way so it's 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 a positive card in this aspect um 
especially because the related cards on, on both sides are really, really positive. So by meditating and by focusing on our, our inner voice and our intuition, uh, or in the last week of the last week of uh, of April, this is great news. It's the Ace of Wands. Okay, so we have the the hand of God coming to help us in a way with the with the wands is a message is the beginning of um, business idea an idea that is going to make you very that you are very passionate about something creative something um, a hobby that can become your your long-term profession so it's a great great card for all of uh, all of you that are thinking about starting something new business wise or starting working on a passion on something that you're very passionate about so so if that's why i said if you have any dreams or any messages from the universe write things down meditate on it because that's going to bring you great great um, abundance and happiness and also it's going to bring you something that you will you will be very passionate about that you will want to work uh, on it uh, that if if it's a job or if it's a business that you're thinking it's not going to feel a, like a job because you're passionate and every day it's gonna it's just gonna be you working what you want to work not not what you have to work in a way um, so great card it can also mean um a new a new person in your life uh, a new partner that's gonna come with uh, with fury in a way it's gonna come fast um, with it's gonna bring a lot of love and passion uh, it can also signify for those of you who are pregnant and you haven't seen a baby gender yet it can also signify a boy some of you will be expecting you will be expecting a baby boy so yeah it's great a uh, great end to the month of april i'm very excited for you leos um, thank you for joining me in this reading please like subscribe and comment if you like this reading and i will be for the sign that i get the most uh feedback so like comments and subscribes i will be doing a more extended reading for either the finances or or love depending on your request thank you so much and i see you on my next video bye bye